All right, let's see if the man is home. Hey, hey, hey what's, what's up, up dude? Man? Whoa! <laughs> what the heck? What the hell? One more time, what was, man. What was that? Oh, Jesus. Let's just go with it. Let's do it. All right, Radical Reggie here. I just want to show you guys my crib. This is the place I come to where I want to relax, kick it, play video games, and chill. So let's start over here first. Big screen TV. This is where I have my, a couple of my systems hooked up. My Xbox, original Xbox. Got my laser disc player here, old school. A lot of people don't know what laser disc is. PS3, PS4, stuff like that. I also got something cool here, a throwback for fighting games. Fight Stick from Japan, exclusive. Last Blue Limited Edition, which is pretty cool. All right, so over here I got my other TV. Uh, got my 360 hooked to this one, Dreamcast. Retron 5 and my PSP, you know, hooked to the TV so I can sit right here and play my PSP games on television, which is fantastic. You come over here, I got my Aliens Arcade cabinet. Now this is custom made and this, this is, pre I pretty much got this because it's a unique game and plus they got a couple more Alien movies coming out, coming out so I'm pretty happy about that. So I wanted to have this in my collection because Aliens is probably one of my favorite action horror movies of all time. Kitchen, pretty basic. Huh, looks like I need to go shopping. Uh, pretty thirsty, maybe I'll have a drink real fast. Mm. Oh, God. Ooh. Yeah, I think I need to I do some shopping ASAP. Oh, God. Oh, God. All right, guys, so follow me down the hall. Got a couple rooms to show you. First off, I'll just show you my restroom. Pretty basic in here. Uh, got my my washing utensils here, toothbrush, uh, a mouthwash, all that good stuff. Yeah, but if you're gonna use the bathroom for a while, don't worry, I got you covered. Check it out. We got you some pub beer, the good stuff right there. You don't like pub beer? No problem, we got you covered again. Rainier beer, fresh from Washington. All right. Hey, can you close that, Reg? Yeah, no, no problem, okay. sorry. All right, my bedroom, which is kind of messy, but what do you expect is my room? I mean, you know. <laughs> Got a Vita TV hooked in here, which is pretty cool. You can play your Vita games on the television here, which is awesome. Also got the old school skin flicks, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what you guys been waiting for? My game room. Presented by Seattle Retro Gamers. Basically, I have about 42 systems. I have uh, over 2,000 games. Uh, and pretty much, I know people thought I had more than that, but basically, you know, I go over quality over quantity. My PS3 collection now, as far as highlights go, one thing I would like to highlight is that those red cases that everybody hates for the PS3, I found good use for them. Horror games, check that out. Looks great, right? PlayStation Vita, uh, probably my second favorite portable system next to the PSP. Uh, a lot of people think the PS, I mean the Vita is, is dead, but it's, it's far from it. There's companies like Limited Edition, Limited Run Games, that are really putting out games for the system. They're very passionate about making games for it. I don't have any right now, but to show you my Vita collection, I will show you one of my favorite games I'm playing right now, and that's Stranger of Sword City. Now, I never played Dungeon Crawlers before. I played this one, and I was just compelled to play it. Like, I just can't stop playing it, and it's really 
awesome. You create your own character, and I don't want to ruin the story for you, but you guys will get the gist of it. PSP, whew, one of my, this is where I really was starting to collect hard back a few years ago. It was easy to collect for when GameStop was getting rid of the stuff. I have 115 choice games, uh, so that pretty much when I say choice, it means all these games are good that you guys can pick up and play. Uh, I would say one of my favorites is uh, Outrun Coast to Coast. Uh, this game I could play all day, all night. It's that fun, that much fun. It's just the heart attack mode in this game is just pretty cool. Basically, in the heart attack mode, your girlfriend tells you what she wants you to do while you're driving, and you try to pull off the stunts. And if you don't, you get slapped up by her. If you pull off right, you get a kiss. So there's your reward. Uh, shooter games for the system. Uh, these are imports. Uh, reason I got this one right here. This game right here, I, I'm so sorry I can't, you know how I am with Japanese guys, but this is a turbo, a graphic CD game, and it's very expensive, it goes for like $700, and the only way to get this game for a cheap price is getting it on the PSP, so I, that's what I did. Uh, another game here, uh, the Poppin' Twin B series, this is the whole series on one disc that you can play all these shooting games, and they're fantastic, one of my favorites. Alright guys, so here's the top of my limited edition sets up here, some import stuff. Uh, one of my favorites right now is the Skullgirls uh, game, physical copy. I love fighting games, you guys know that. And for them to make a physical copy of it was pretty awesome. I hopped on that because I don't know if they're going to make an American one. But this, the Japanese one, comes with all the American features like voice acting. That's one of my favorites right here. Uh, my Biohazard uh, Resident Evil remake uh, special edition for the PS3. Uh, that thing is awesome. Pretty proud to have that. So here's some more special limited edition stuff. Star Ocean, in Integrity and Facelessness. Uh, this is one of my favorite ser RPG series of all time. I know people are bashing the Star Ocean in this game in the reviews, but it's, it's basically a, a Star Ocean, a good Star Ocean game, just like the other ones. Some more stuff I have here, pretty cool. Code of Princess, this is from the makers of uh, uh, Guardian Heroes for the Sega Saturn. Uh, they decided to make their own game. Pretty much feels like Guardian Heroes, pretty awesome game. If you guys see this, pick it up for your 3DS. Uh, I won't grab this out, but another one of my favorite, I will, I'll, try, I'll attempt to. Bear with me, here we go, uh, 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 uh. Awesome. Zone of the End is limited edition. Now this is probably one of my favorite games on the PS2. I, I loved it so much I got it on PS3. This limited edition box comes with the, the manual, soundtrack, and of course the game. Pretty awesome. One of some of uh, uh, Kojima's finest work with Konami before what they did to him. Damn Konami. All right, so one of my favorite systems you guys know is I love collecting for PS1 and PS2. Let me show you some of my imports I got for those systems. First game I want to show you is uh, Michigan Report from Hell, a very cool survival horror game. Let's see what else we got here. Harmful Park, a very cool shooter. Uh, I've been looking unique. for that one. Yeah, very unique and funny. I mean, they did a good job on this game. Adventures of Little Ralph, my favorite 2D platform of all time. Has the right mixture of difficulty, cool story mode, cool boss battles, everything is awesome in that game. Gaia Seed, probably my favorite shooter of all time right now. <laughs> it has really good music in it. It's really awesome. Panzer Bandit, this is a beat em up. It's very similar to Guardian Heroes for Sega Saturn, so if you guys like that game, pick this up for PlayStation. Uh, Xanic X Xanic, comes with Xanic and Xanic Neo which is very cool, another expensive game. And, uh-oh, Gunbird Collection. It comes with Gunbird 1 and 2, very cool. And one more I want to tell you guys about, Chaos Break. If you like Resident Evil, oh man, the old school Resident Evil, bad voice acting, camera angles, this game is up your alley. This game is sick. It's just like Resident Evil, very cool, very compelling, and it's a survival horror. All right, so PS1 section. I'm not gonna really show you guys too much in it that you haven't already seen. But uh, I got Sukoden 2, of course. This is a must-have RPG. I love the Sukoden series. Uh, I just found out about this game, Destrega. Oh, I love this game so much. I cannot believe I have never played it before. Very fun. I don't know why they picked a, a skunk for a mascot, but he's got some attitude. Pretty cool, punky skunk. <laughs> and the last game here, I just recently got. I didn't know it was expensive, but it's a beat 'em up. Batman Forever, the movie. Uh, very awesome. Well, it's a good beat 'em up. I won't say it's awesome, but it's definitely cool to have. And it's kind of rare and expensive, so. All right, PS2 uh, collection, or some of the stuff from my PS2 collection. I'll show you some guys some of my favorites. Uh, I love the Disaster Report series. These games are awesome. Uh, very fun survival games and, uh, and natural disasters. 
of course, I got Rule of Rose. Uh, very cool. I got this when it first came out, so I've been like one of the believers that it's a cool game. Also, I still got the bonus soundtrack it came with for pre-orders. Also here, Obscure. Basically, if, you, if the faculty was a video game, you guys remember the faculty, this, this, this is it right here, survival horror at its finest. Two player survival horror. All right guys, so this section here, you guys know I like my Tales games. This is the Tales Shrine. I pretty much have all the American games, even though they're not all displayed here. Got them all, like most of them right here. DS games here, uh, one of my favorites here. Uh, Infinity, Infinite Space, uh, very unique game, uh, very cool. They just reprinted this game, so if you guys don't have a complete copy, you can get one for around $40. Uh, my Neo Geo Pocket stuff, uh, Fossile, I love this game. Uh, very cool tactical RPG. Cotton uh, for the shoot 'em up for the Neo Geo Pocket. And one more game I showed before, and that is the Rock, Rock, Rockman bot Battle Games. Excuse me, guys, I'm just, uh, it's hot. And uh, if we go down here, some of my Genesis games, uh, I'll pull out one that I really like a lot, and that is uh, Battle uh, Mania Part 2, a really good shooter game. Uh, game Boy Advance, uh, one of my favorite games. I have to say Counter Punch, because it's just, just a throwback to Mike Tyson's Punch Out, which is awesome. All right, guys, so this section here, I got my uh, more PlayStation games, a little spindle here. Looks pretty good. Uh, Vectrex system, I got Star Castle, very cool guy. I love the Vectrex system. Uh, my Game Boy collection here, some of my favorites I just recently got, Felix the Cat, complete in box, uh, Tumble Pop, complete in box. I got another cool game here. A lot of people haven't heard of his import. Uh, Trip World, very good game by Sunsoft. Uh, Sega CD games, I have downsides, but I still have the ones I love the most. Um, I will say my favorite game on the system right now is Popful Mail, very cool game. Uh, just, they did a really good job on it, especially with the dialogue. Uh, Xbox games here. Uh, I don't really have a favorite I could think of right now. If I, if I did have one right now, I would say uh, between these two, Call Cthulhu and Dreamfall. Very cool game. Uh, we'll move on here. GameCube. I would say that my favorite game on the system is probably Metal Gear Solid uh, Twin Snakes, a remake of Metal Gear Solid for the PS1. Very cool. All right guys, so here's my Super Nintendo collection. Now some of these might look weird to you, but here, this is the reason why. Uh, these are custom cases. Uh, I use custom cases because they're easy to get to. Uh, corporate boxes wear down, as you know, and are hard to keep nice. Uh, but I got the back and everything. Uh, game's still in here. Uh, very cool. One of my favorite games out of this collection, I would say probably, well, it's not actually on here, but uh, it's actually a game that was never released. BS Shockman. This is a repro. Uh, I had a guy create a box for me, which is cool. Very cool running gun game. Two player awesomeness. Alright, so the Virtual Boy. Virtual Boy, I can't really, I don't know what to really say cool about it. What were cool games? I guess the basic game that's really cool on here is Wario Land. This is the basic game. If you have a Virtual Boy, this is a must have. Nintendo Wii. I really didn't think I was going to collect for this system, but I decided to because of Casey and uh, he helped me out a lot. Uh, and one of my favorite games on this system is uh, Fragile Dreams. Very cool game. Art style, music, story, a uh, very compelling game. Like you, you'll be sucked in because the game is so weird how it starts out. But uh, and it's not expensive either. It's still pretty much cheap from what I've seen, but don't take my word for it. All right guys, so here we are to the NES section. I know a lot of you have been waiting for this. Uh, uh, cool games I have here. I got the Mega Man 5. Uh, very cool to have. Most expensive Mega Man game on the NES. Uh, got Felix the Cat, which is cool. Uh, very cool platform game. My mom was into this cartoon back in the day. Uh, I picked up the game for that reason. I thought maybe it, the game is cool, and it actually is. And, huh. This guy looks familiar. Uh, I have this game called Hothead Joe. So here is my ride, my 1996 Nissan Altima. Eh, I know it's not gonna win any awards or anything like that, but it's been, it's been good to me. I like this car a lot. I've had it for four years. My family keeps telling me, hey, buy another car, which I almost have, but then that would take away from the attention I have from this beauty, and it's a great car. It's got four doors. It came with a little damage, but hey, it's okay. It's still going. Um, oh, shut this. What the, something's wrong with the trunk. Why is this open? What the hell? Oh, it's got plenty of room in the trunk to fit a body in there, which is cool.
Hey guys, I was happy to show you my collection. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, follow me on YouTube, Radical Regis. First time I really promoted the channel. So uh, I know it's not the best quality, but hey, you get to see me again. So uh, right now, I'm gonna go do some video game hunting. Plus I gotta get rid of this body. So get the hell out of here. I'll see you next time. I want to thank Reggie for opening up his crib or game room and letting me film there. We had so much fun shooting this that day. Also a huge shout out to Crazy Crazy Joe. He was pretty much up for anything and he was a he was a total sport man. He was awesome. Now this video is actually based on one that uh, Reggie and Joe did about a year ago. So I will link to the original down in the description below. Now it's time for some outtakes. This is my bathroom, pretty basic. <laughs> Shut this. What the, something's wrong with the trunk. Why is this open? What the hell? Oh, it's got plenty of room in the trunk to fit a body in there, which is cool.